I'm loving stories like these, Brittany. I they know. really get me into the holiday spirit. Warming Something my heart. warming our cold hearts. No, I'm kidding. It's warming our cold holes. bodies. <laughs> We're all Grinches. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Well, you know, we might be a little grinchy after yesterday. Woo, it was a little chilly out there. Below freezing for pretty much all of us. Besides Fond du Lac, you hit a high of 36 degrees yesterday. Now we're waking up to clear and cold skies. Let me tell you that. Sunrise isn't until 7 o'clock on the dot. Temperature is a few degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday morning. Watoma and Pembine really feeling the difference. In fact, Pembine, you're sitting at 9 degrees right now, while Watoma, 10 degrees. Into the Fox Valley and Lakeshore, upper teens to low 20s, but of course there's some wind out there out of the south at about 3 to 6 miles per hour, which is enough to actually make it feel like 9 degrees into Appleton this morning, feeling like 12 into Green Bay. So grab the gloves, the hat, the thick jacket, stay warm out there, and also notice that those winds are going to get very strong. Gale warning in effect on Lake Michigan, also a Lakeshore flood advisory to the north and towards Escanaba. Right now we're having those clear skies, which is why we're so cold, but if you look off to the west, there's some cloud cover in Iowa and Minnesota. That's going to be headed our way slowly throughout the day today, but so is the warmth. Here's what's going to be happening. Our winds are going to start to increase by this afternoon into those evening hours, gusting up to nearly 25 to 30 miles per hour. South wind is a good wind, though, if you like that warmth. It is going to warm us up to the low 40s today with mostly sunny skies. Clouds not really pushing in until after sunset tonight. That's as that warm front starts to cross over us which of course is going to give us some stronger winds for tomorrow and of course more cloud cover. So we're going to be waking up to cloudy skies, staying overcast and cloudy with a few light sprinkles through our day tomorrow. Then that low pressure system kicks on out of here, swings the cold front and some showers and storms there through the Midwest all the way down into Texas. So for your travel hazards for right now, if you're flying out to the Pacific Northwest, yeah, they're seeing some snow and rain out there. We're also seeing some high winds as we head through the afternoon into the panhandle and then as we go into tomorrow morning. If you're looking to travel, we're going to see some snow and rain possible and also some high winds into the Dakotas, Wyoming and Montana. Otherwise, the rest of the nation looking good to go tomorrow afternoon. Snow into the mountains, Nebraska, areas like that. So you can expect flight delays. Also, if you're driving, please be careful out there. Now, if you're leaving late Wednesday, the rain is going to be from Chicagoland area all the way through Texas. This continues there into the Ohio Valley and goes on through Thanksgiving. So highs today. Enjoy if you're staying in town, we're going to hit those low 40s with mostly sunny skies tonight, staying right around that freezing mark into the 30s, but much warmer than we're feeling right now. Cloudy, overcast, but nice and mild into the upper 40s to low 50s tomorrow. Very breezy winds. So if you're driving, you're going to be battling those as well. Then for Thanksgiving, we are looking at temperatures at about 35 degrees is our high. We're going to see a little bit of sun, a little bit of flurries possible as well. Then we clear things out behind that and also get a little bit cooler with highs struggling to get above freezing for Friday and Saturday. A few flurries possible on Sunday, but we're back to those temperatures in those low to mid 30s for us. Oh, some flurries. We love to hear it and we'll be well into the holiday season at that point. Very now exciting. Now it's acceptable, right? <laughs> Very acceptable. Brittany, thank you. You're welcome.